What's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing awesome. I want to take just a few minutes and go over one of the big questions that I've been getting on this Ruger American project that I've been working on. I took this and put the Magpul uh, Hunter American stock on it and then did my own custom paint job on this. I'll go ahead and put a link to a couple other videos that I've done on this project uh, down below in the description so you guys can take a look at those if you care to. So one of the biggest questions I've been getting about this build is what kind of bolt knob or bolt handle is this? Uh, the one that I'm running here on this setup. So this bolt knob that I'm running on this is a KRG bolt knob. This is a company called Kinetic Research Group. Uh, it's real nice because it matches the actual stock that I'm using, the Magpul stock, because this is basically just two pieces of polymer, hard plastic, that goes around the original factory bolt knob or bolt handle, however you want to phrase it. So what it does, it just gives you a lot more meat to grab a hold of to, you know, cycle through, get to that next round much quicker. Say um, I call in three or four coyotes at the same time. Uh, you know, I want to make a good, confident kill shot on that first one. And then I want to be able to grab a hold of the bolt handle, you know, really grab a hold of something and just rack it in real quick, real smooth. What I'll do here is I'll just go ahead and pull this out, take the whole bolt out, and I'm gonna take apart uh, the KRG uh, bolt knob and then just show you guys kind of what that looks like. So here, I went ahead and took the bolt out of the rifle and I'm just gonna show you guys what this thing looks like. Um, once again, it's just two halves, two pieces of hard polymer plastic. It's just held together by one Allen screw. So anybody that has a Ruger American of any sort, you know there's just not much to grab a hold of right here. Um, and then you're taking this hard piece of polymer plastic and you can see what it looks like there compared to this being over the top of it. Just a lot more to grab a hold of there. So all it is is two pieces of the hard plastic. See if you guys can see that there. And then it comes with, I think from the factory in that metal tin, it comes with four of these O-rings in different sizes, matching pairs. Um, what I have here is just the two that I'm using. So what you would do, and you kind of got to mess around with this because like I mentioned earlier, this is not for a Ruger. This is for a Remington. So it's not going to be, you know, a hundred percent accurate matchup. You kind of got to mess around with it just a little bit and you guys will be able to get it figured out, but it's pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. What I do is I just take a rubber O-ring, put one on top, and then I'll take this right here. I always put the large Allen head insert to the back where you can't see it. So the front is just a little slit, kind of see right there. So I always make sure that's to the front. So it'd be my top piece, I guess you would call it. Take that and then I would just set this on top of there. And you just want to kind of hold it in place. And then take this one, flip it over. I don't know how well that's picking up, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Put that one on the other side. And then those metal pegs, you just want to match those up between the two pieces. And once you get your two pieces together, start your Allen screw back in the hole and then just cinch it down. The size of rubber O-rings that I use, I do have a little bit of a gap up here that you can't quite make it come flush together. But if you don't do that, then you're gonna get some wiggle, some play back and forth on this. But the way I have mine set up, this thing is on there very snug. 
and it just allows you, you know, you can see there how much bigger that is than the stock size. Just a lot more to grab a hold of, rack, and manipulate that bolt much quicker and cycle in your next round. So it's that easy. So full disclaimer there, uh, whenever you get to the website, this is gonna show that it is for a Remington 700. And I just had this laying around from a previous Remington 700 that I uh, have since sold, but I wanted to keep that for any future 700s that I might have. Or in this case, uh, figured what the heck, I would try it. Uh, took it out, put it on there. And for me, it serves the purpose just fine. Um, you know, there's other options out there from different companies uh, where you, you know, take the bolt apart and actually put in a bolt handle and then a bolt knob, you screw it on the end. Those will be all metal pieces, you know, and specifically fit for the Ruger American bolt itself. Whereas this, it does say it's for Remington 700, but as you can see here, uh, it fits just fine. For me, it really serves the purpose well. Um, I like the way it fits. It's pretty large in size and just really gives you something to, to grab a hold of whenever you know, you're trying to rack in that next round uh, quickly to, to get on your target, get on your animal, whatever you're, you're shooting that day. So as always, make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more good content coming out. And uh, I always appreciate all of you guys following along and look forward to putting out more content, answering any questions you guys might have. Uh, don't hesitate to comment down below. Try to get to those questions quickly. And we're all here to help one another and learn from one another. So as always, happy hunting, be safe, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.